Hello everybody, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel where we've adorned again the crown of virtual worlds upon our forehead where it's soon to be covering our eyes where we'll jump into a new vehicle in the Seto Corsa and that new vehicle is the new Formula 3 car by RSR. Now this is the Formula 317 which is the latest version following on from the Formula 312 both of which are Formula 3 cars by Delara raced in the Formula 3 series but the 317 is the latest one. Now what's particularly interesting about this vehicle compared to the previous one is that the previous one had some characteristics that personally I really did not get on with. So we're going to see if this new car uh, rectifies those characteristics, makes us feel warm and fuzzy and uh, it, you know what it's just just what is it like to drive? Let's find out. So Let's get into the old VRs and first of all we'll admire the cockpit details, that's really important, you know, the most important part of racing simulators are, well, the first, the first most important part of course is the grass on the circuit, but once you've, once you've accommodated that aspect it's the, uh, the car graphics. So let's, uh, let's get in this, in the seat here, we're, we're in the, uh, let's put the audio on here, I use the, uh, Pin the app to the uh, to the virtual space in the Oculus Rift, and then we get the uh, mirrored audio in the game. That probably won't be a problem for you guys, but because of the way I, I uh, record, that's what I have to do. So let's centre the camera. There it is. And uh, the cockpit, I have to say, looks fairly similar to the previous Formula 3 car by uh, RSR. We've got a FIA 2017 sticker in here. Car, Delara, just in case you forget. Chassis F317. Look, it even tells you what car you're driving in case you forget as well. And the signature of uh, whoever signed it off, a scrutineer, or I don't know, it's a signature of someone. I don't know whose signature it is. Let's let's uh, use it to uh, to write some some blank checks and see what happens. The uh, we've got a we've got a nice uh, five point safety harness keeping us uh, attached to the vehicle when we inevitably flip it over. That's always good. OMP safety harness, that goes with my OMP uh, steering wheel that I'm using. Let me just check my recording is all okay. Indeed it is, that's nice to know. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. This uh, nice cockpit details. I can see some of the, uh, the, po the sort of, of polygon, the polygonization of the vehicle. So it doesn't look 100% smooth, but it's, you know, nicely beveled. And at the end of the day, when you have a, a car that's not 100% smooth, it means you can have more cars on the screen without any problems. But look at that. Oh, we can see the uh, the turbo intake there. It's like having a small remote control jet plane fastened to the side of the vehicle. I mean, that's that's awesome. I love VR. You can just <laughs> really enjoy the cockpit. You don't see any of this in 2D. The car modelers probably really appreciate VR because they, everyone can actually enjoy what they've got there. And we've got the uh, camera that they've stuck on the back of the, uh, the, the safety roll bar at the top of the seat there. They're all really good here. All really nicely modelled, fantastic details. What's this thing down here? FIA Bosch. I think it's the transceiver. And then we've got some. Uh, we've got a light button. It's flashing in our face. Uh, shift map. I don't know. I don't know how they would operate if they would affect stuff on the wheel. But that's cool. I mean, all the onboard computer stuff. It's like it's like being in a bit of a spaceship. Shame I can't use the touch controller to activate switches. But that that's for the future of virtual reality. Um, so, cockpit, absolutely superb. There's my feet down there. Oh, God, the uh, steering column's gone through my uh, left toe. Might want to see a doctor about that. Oh, well, at least we're not going to come out of the vehicle. Safety harness plus steering column through the foot. There's the uh, radio antenna, which uh, we've got two of them, actually. That's interesting. Let's start driving. We're in quality. I've got AI. I've done. I've set up a seven-lap race, and we've got a little bit of a quality session so I can have a little bit of a pootle first. Whoa! <laughs> trying to go a bit closer, mate. He's trying to intimidate me before we even start driving here. Look at that. Really, really nice uh, attention to detail on the suspension arms. There, it's amazing. It's like having toothpicks, multiple toothpicks to uh, keep the the wheel attached to the car. Look at the front fin as well. So this car, it's not particularly fast in terms of top end speed, but uh, I think it's it's fast enough that it provides a moderate challenge. Let's get this off the screen. 
It provides a moderate challenge for, for new drivers, but and, and it's got enough speed, though, that those of you that are, are reasonably experienced don't just die of boredom instantly. I think we'll just, you know what, rather than doing a practice lap, I think we'll just, I think we'll just go straight into the race, you know? Who needs to practice when you can just jump straight in? You can take, yeah, I think these cost about, I think these cost about, uh, 230,000 pounds. I mean, it's hard to say with Formula cars because a lot of the cost is, uh, look at that. A lot of the cost is when you, uh, actually take it to a track and have a race team and service it and get it all working and everything else, all the man labor and everything rather than the actual vehicle really sleek vehicle look at that it's, I, I need my camera photograph that i've got the roller coaster in the background why can't we ride that roller coaster in any simulator very disappointing come on guys let's let's put that in as a special mode that's that's totally what we need in simulators absolutely beautiful really sleek look at the way the uh the the, the cockpit the uh the the the, the, the cockpit what's it called like the, the uh the leg compartment, we'll call it the leg compartment. Look at the way that, that tilts upwards from the floor. So you to get that formula position, which I'm, I'm of course sat in like a GT position at the moment. But that is, that's awesome. So if Delaro want to send me a uh, a chassis for me to shit, is it to shit in? <laughs> well, they probably won't send me a chassis for that. If they want to send me a chassis to sit in, um, just hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an address. I'm sure we'll, we'll just wait. I'll, I'll expect an email tomorrow. Let, right, let's get racing. Enough of nattering about the vehicle. Looks beautiful. That's that's all that matters. Let's see how it handles. So uh, skip session. Off we go to the race. Now we should be at the back of the grid here. All right, first of all, let's uh, make sure we've got enough fuel. Tires. Hankook. We've got Hankook tires. That's all good. Uh, Liters. Got too much fuel. That's fine. But we're good. This is, this is just default, all default out of the box. Of course, with it being a Formula car, it has far too many setup options. So uh, we'll have to get some good setups when it comes to online racing. And sim racing system, I'm not sure if they're running this car, the previous one. Hopefully they're running this car. Because this would be nice to uh, to drive against other people with a bit of ranking and uh, safety rating and what have you. Here we go then. Seven laps. Let's find out how this handles. Now, in terms of my equipment, you see the pedal cam below. I'm using the... Uh, Protest Simtech PT1 pedals. Oh, nice and... Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, guys. Okay, sorry, team. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, team. I, I may have... Uh, may have to be a bit more gentle on the throttle out of the out of the gate there. Sorry, team. Didn't... First time in the car here. Didn't happen. So, I'm using the uh, PT1 pedals. Off we go. I'm using a uh, SW20 direct drive wheel, and I've got the force feedback on about 60% in the SimuCube software, and uh, it's 100% in-game. So, uh, steering seems quite light on this. I might up the force feedback in the uh, SimuCube software, but I'm getting plenty of information. Whoa, AI breaking a bit early there. Let's just drift into that. There we go. Well, after butchering that first corner, oh my God, AI struggling there. Avoid the crash. After butchering that first corner, I've just noticed that uh, it, this is way, 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 way more stable than the previous, the previous Formula Three car. Absolutely on another level of stability. Way more forgiving. Now the previous, the the, the main thing that I disliked with the previous Formula Three car, I think it was a pretty good mod. It's nice. It was nicely done. Why the AI have been drinking? What is wrong with them? What the previous car used to do is, when you um, when you downshifted from third to second, the back end would just pop out, and then it would get in a slide that you couldn't really do anything with, which was really frustrating. Now you could drive around that, you could actually downshift more appropriately, or just or just not downshift so aggressively into the braking zones. But it, it would catch me out a lot, and I, I found that really frustrating. And then the other aspect with the previous one is that. The uh, when traction would break loose, when the when the rear would break loose, it, it would uh, it do it in a very very snappy way, uh, with not much you could do with it. You couldn't really drive it on the on the throttle, power out of corners, or throw it into corners too much. Could at high speed because the downforce would uh, compensate for that grip loss, but at low speed it was a little bit of a chore. But this, 
This is super, super stable. We've just gone through there, butchered it, through the NGK chicane, and this car is absolutely fine there. On the throttle through that, no problems, glued to the circuit. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. This seems like a really good entry Formula car. Let's see, going into braking, let's try and brake a bit more aggressively. There we go. Getting into a bit of a slide there on the power early. Too aggressive on the throttle. Back end kicks out, but we can plow on through it. So that, that personally, I think is really good because it means that's not race over. And I just know for next time that I just need to calm things down a bit. And that's what I like from cars. I like them to be, I like them to be forgiving and just encourage me to push, but not give me the death penalty when uh, if we do make a mistake. What? Well, we've got some uh, drunk driving here from the AI. <laughs> the AI is struggling to hold it. Look at that! Absolutely fantastic. Let's try and catch up with these uh, with the AI as they make mistakes. Whoa! Maybe uh, aggression on 100 was a bit was a mistake. <laughs> I think they're going for rather opportunistic moves on each other. We've had uh, some AI retire there. Force feedback loading up really nicely through the Schumacher S's. I can feel a little bit of uh, track texture. I mean, the uh, Nurburgring Ring GP is quite a smooth circuit. We might have to take this out at something like Zandvoort to see, see what it's like over, over a more bumpy track. But I'm getting a little bit of uh, track texture through the force feedback. We've got a car behind us. He's going to make a move. Interesting to see. Let's break here, 100 meter board. Oh, he's gone for the dive bomb. Committed. <laughs> okay. Kunos. Uh, oh well, maybe maybe it's just the aggression setting, but uh, or or Kunos have fed their AI a couple of pints of vodka before the race start. As long as we stay out of the way, all will be fine. So yeah, most of the force feedback I'm feeling is just the self-aligning with a little bit of track texture coming through. But you can feel like that going there really whoa got too much again really nice how the force about lightens up as the front grip is lost so i can feel the understeer there and that's given me plenty of information to dial things down and hopefully we'll get to a point where we start feeling it out so at the moment i'm driving like a i'm driving like someone that's just stolen this from a supermarket car park But as I say, this is what I like with with mod cars or simulated cars. I like cars that don't just churn, don't just throw you out and kill you. I mean, maybe maybe it is easy mode. Maybe maybe I'm just a terrible driver. But I like it when a vehicle lets you abuse it at at the cost to lap time. So you know, if you are abusing it, you're not going to be get, you're not going to be winning races. So you're not trying to abuse it. What it, the end result is, it means you can push in races, you can make mistakes, it encourages you to have fun with the car, and then you have to dial it down, and then the, the objective isn't, can I keep the car on the road, or can I not make a mistake that, that ends my race? It's, how can I be really delicate with the car, and how can I, how can I get the absolute most out of the grip that's available to me in the di and, and using the dynamics of the given vehicle? This, this is absolutely spot on. Let's try and tidy things up here. Go a bit of that a bit of curbing on the right there. Could just see the uh, sausage tickle the uh, right hand tyre. That's a nice thing with uh, Formula cars in VR. You can s see exactly where your wheels are on the circuit. Absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, my pace isn't absolutely awesome, and with the uh, front part of the grid is separated off. So let's see if we can. <laughs> Still not got T1 there. I don't think he's supposed to do a drift entry. But let's see if we can get a bit faster. We've got the Delta on the screen. There you go. It's going up slowly. Let's try and ease the brakes in here. Position the car more. This is what it's all about. Oh, God. Terrible driving. So it's actually, with it being a Formula vehicle and uh, also being an incredibly light vehicle, it's, it's very, very immediate and incredibly responsive. Far more re responsive than you know, your obvious full-size track cars. But, this car doesn't have the insanity speed that you get with sort of, you know, Formula 2, Formula 1, or the like the Lotus uh, 256 that's in Assetto Corsa. 
so you get to practice the aspects of uh, formula driving without too much pain <laughs> oh dear I'm bitten on my leg there just trying to hit the break point oh AI is going for the move nice one I think the AI is learning the track now maybe this mod didn't have AI files for them to work out what they can do let's try and stick on his tail that was really nice good overtake so you really have to carry the momentum and really trust in the grip and downforce that this car provides. Oh, come on, shuffle it through. And, and this is what happens with the, with the shuffling that you get from this car, the controllable slip. That's something you can then use to your advantage. Super, super fun. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Barring out of that. Almost a second up on a previous Delta. Man, they've got, they've got to run this on Sim Racing System. Two laps to go. They have to run this car in sim racing system. This is perfect. I dare say... Oh, sliding around there. It's got the power a bit. This is... I think this is a much better entry formula car than the, than the formula of Bath. And a lot, lot better than the previous Formula 3 car. I mean, I'm sure people would disagree. Maybe, maybe the previous one's more realistic. Maybe that punishment of the rears coming out and it being a bit tighter M maybe that's more realistic I don't know I don't really care what's more or less realistic to be honest oh no the AI's made the same mistake we've got some problems here ultimately as I say I I'm not going to drive this car in real life well I don't think I am if it unless I win the lottery so I'm just I'm into whatever uh, makes it fun for online racing still believable but I mean personally I actually think this type of grip characteristic is probably more realistic I'll probably go against the grain of lots of sim racers that want their cars to handle like uh, planks of wood that murder you I, th I think cars in general in real life are actually very forgiving just bloody hard to get very fast concise repetitive laps on a, on a track that's very different from hour to hour minute to minute I, that's where the difficulty is in real life but you know that's, that's just what I think <laughs> probably upset people as usual Get the break point. Probably making excuses for being a terrible driver. Whatever is easy for me is good. Whatever strokes my ego, I'm happy. So let's let's get a PB for our final lap here. So we've got one last lap here, and uh, we'll comment on the audio of the car. Sounds pretty much the same as the previous one. I think it's using the same sound files. It's not a particularly guttural or mind-blowing audio, but it's, it's not bad audio. I'm not listening to this going, oh, that doesn't sound like a car, you know. It doesn't sound uh, synthetic. Got a nice bit of tone to it. Sounds in tune. The throttles, uh, the, the, the noise of the engine is corresponding to the throttle. Oh, look at that. On the th that is awesome. I, this is going to be so satisfying when you come to getting faster and faster laps and trying to modulate the throttle to turn the car in just a little bit, working with a tiny bit of slip absolutely spot on way more nuanced due to the lower grip levels than the previous formula 3 car i have to say so yeah i, I think the audio is a sort of uh, 7 out of 10 maybe, maybe not maybe not the most exciting of audio but very functional nice little uh, engine wobble actually you, as you change gear they've got that uh, the wobbly sound which is really nice maybe i just need to turn the volume up and, st and stop being miserable but absolutely, absolutely stunning. I think they've done a good job with this. Should be in the game by default. And definitely, they need to be racing this in a sim racing system if they're not already. We'll have to check that out. Come on, PB to finish this off. I'll be really happy then. <laughs> We've got Dive Bomb Dave behind us. But this, watch out for this. Defend on the inside here. Compromised my lines there. Probably lost my PB, but we saved the position. Let's see how much speed we can get through the final corner. What? <laughs> Whoa! It's <laughs> totally power out of the corner. A little bit of drifting. Formula drift mode. Well, I think we've got one more lap, actually. I was, uh, I was a lap ahead in my head. Let's try and do some sliding. As soon as I thought it was over. See what sort of... What kind of angles can we get away with here? Chuck it into this corner. 
<laughs> you can actually, you can almost drift it. You can almost drift it. It kind of goes in and out, and there's a delay between the uh, the power and then the wheel spinning up. So you, you know, I don't think you can hold a drift and modulate it on the throttle in a subtle way. But that's, that just gives you a demonstration there of how controllable that is. Even with that back end coming out like that, I still have an opportunity to modulate the throttle a little bit, but I can also use the steering to decide how much angle we've got. Now, of course, you're obviously not going to be driving like that in a race because your, your time's gone out the window. But uh, it's nice to have that there as a backup for when you uh, try to do a bit of an opportunistic and probably uh, outside of your skill level overtake on someone. <laughs> so it's always nice to have a car that lets you get away with murder. Oh, look at that. Hitting the curb in there. A bit of count steer. We're all good. I mean, this just feels really solid. Again, this, this car could literally have been in the game. And you wouldn't question it. This, this is a spot-on car, I think. Absolutely spot-on. They've nailed it. Good job. <laughs> My driving is terrible. Final corner then. End of the race. Nürburgring GP. A really good circuit. Germans know how to build race tracks, that's for sure. For Amafaren. There we go, guys. Wave at the pit crew. Fifth place. AI on 98%. Terrible driving. But we did start at the back. Could have, been, uh, could have been a bit better if we'd got things in. We did see some AI issues there. Maybe if we do another race, AI will have improved. That'd be interesting to try. But, I mean, that's an, that's an introduction to this car, guys. Um, check it out. I, I downloaded mine from uh, racedepartment.com, a really good website for downloading uh, cars, tracks, and mods and everything for not just AC, for all simulators. So check out Race Department. The car is called RSR Formula 317. In the pack, you get a four. Well, there's a four kin. There's a four K skin pack and a two K skin pack, which is probably worth installing if you like fancy skins on your cars. But there's also the uh, Formula 312 in the pack. It's like a 350 meg download. Yeah, I mean you can't complain, can you? Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you uh, hope you gathered. You, you gained substantial knowledge from uh, fr from this review of this car. Fantastic job by the mod team. This is why Assetto Corsa is such an amazing piece of software. It, you know, you just get these mods. You've got the base game. You just add mods to it, and, and the mods are at a caliber that you would expect from paid-for content in, in other titles. So, well, there you are. <laughs> this is the least slick ending to a video, but uh, with that on slick ending, I just need to get some butter out. We'll rub it on us, and, and we'll be slicked up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to like and um, check out other videos. We've got loads of VR content, loads of sim racing content, and of course we live stream far too much. Probably about we've been doing about five or six hours every every night recently. It's mental. Uh, also, last thing, we've got Amazon affiliate links in the description. If you're buying stuff on Amazon, click our Amazon affiliate link, and uh, that helps support the channel. So I massively appreciate that. Till the next one, guys. Take care. Have your cup of tea. Goodbye.